Ladies and gentlemen, what you're here for, what you've been waiting on, Sham Talk Pod episode number two, Dose, the second one on the track, the man you see to my right, that's Ephraim, I need to change his name, god damn it, I know, but there's gonna be another fucking spliced video of tags fucking making me look like a fool. And we're back. This is clearly take one of Sham Talk Pod episode two featuring the man to my right and your left or however it's going to go. That's Ephraim. How's it going? Thank you so much for having me. You did just an excellent job introducing me for the first time right there. It was amazing. I'm not going to lie. The first one was better. <laughs> Sorry, I'll try. But to anyway, perform. what we missed was he was explaining what was in the back of his room. Right here, it is. Uh, it's just a wooden sculpture that I did, that I was mm -hmm. proud of. But it also does look like something I would stick uh, somewhere the sun doesn't shine. So, but what is it supposed to be really? Is it one of the uh, weird tentacles from Captain, uh, the other I mean, guy that's not Johnny Depp? No, it's uh, uh what, I don't even know his name now. The Kraken guy. I think it's just called the Kraken. Davy Jones, is that who that was? Yeah, that's who it was, Davy yeah, Jones. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't mm. get that out of Davy Jones's locker. All right, so for the people that don't know you, I think you need to give us who are you, F? What do you okay. do um, for Shamrock? How'd you find Shamrock? And what's your yeah. what, what are you planning? And any plugs you have, get them out of the way now. All right. Um, well, I'll do plugs first because uh, you know you gotta build intrigue. Um, I, I stream on Twitch as well, uh, very sporadically though. Uh, it's my name, E P H R one U M. Um, I do graphic design. I've always just had a passion for that. So I've made emotes for Shamrock Gaming, but um, my actual history with Shamrock Gaming has been, I want to say, six years in the making. I think I met Ty's brother Groot. Well, that's not his real name. His real name's Ryan, but I met him in CS:GO in 2015 if i'm not mistaken um he yes, was go. better than me yeah counter-strike global offensive that's a good game yeah it is we'll touch that's, on that that's later the bread and butter all right oh i'm excited for that portion of it but he was on the opposite team as me and i realized um his immense skill could benefit me greatly so i messaged him in the game chat and i said hey you're good do you want to play together and you know that's how we started hanging out and from there, the community sort of just built organically. Um, and I know that Ty wanted to, you know, bring that community feeling to the masses. Um, and I know, I don't know the whole story about Shamrock Gaming because I wasn't a part of the development, but I do know that we've always been playing together. So I know that <laughs> just, I, I just do graphic design and like fan material and stuff like that for them. So I'm really psyched to, to see where this project goes. Hell yeah. I'm, that, that was a fucking answer, dude. You, and I wasn't, I wasn't laughing at your answer. Someone said something about you have a massive horse cock, <laughs> and I read it at the wrong time, dude. And he said it was moving your table, and I love it. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I always I have moving, a bad habit the of just moving my leg. Why are you nervous? Don't be nervous. No, I just always do. Um, I just have yeah, restless leg syndrome. So, I'll try that. You do photography. I do not not as seriously as you and I wanted to see if you wanted to talk about that because I'm interested in uh, you know your end of the photography world Let's do oh, um, well thank you dude yeah, let's delve into I, what you have though first I fucking beat you to it so here's what's okay. going to be you shoot on a Sony correct uh, or you have, have a Canon also no it is a Sony yeah but it's at my girlfriend's house right now and honestly I haven't shot on it in a while so if you start asking me specs and stuff like that it's going to be a very awkward podcast, unfortunately. I'm Aww, definitely more of a, a habitual yeah. one. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. I, I thought I was you, digging on that one. <laughs> the picture that you liked was probably the last time that I actually took the camera out to take some shots. And all of the pictures after that were actually from my iPhone. So I feel like a bit of a fraudster, but I thought the picture was sick. How tall are you? I'm six foot three. Okay. How tall are you? I mean, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> dude i'm actually pretty short my license says five nine but no one ever really measured me so i just kind of like 
I just said Did you it. know that? Yeah, you can t tell them whatever you want. Like you they can? don't. Yeah, I went in and I got my uh, license. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to show license on I stream. Would, I I'm mean, you, get... you can, but I wouldn't. Is that your wallet there, the one with your license out? Yeah, I don't. I don't think people are gonna be able to stream snipe my ID number if I just show my height. Uh, never mind. It just says my height is six foot three, but they asked me if I wanted to change anything, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm not <laughs> six foot. I'm six foot three. And they were like, "Okay." I was like, "Shit, I could have told them like I was six foot eight. I don't know. At least in Pennsylvania, that's how it's like. Oh, next subject. You're in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Your your water bottle is knocked over. Oh yeah, that's just an empty one. Might be. Yeah, but you don't want to mistreat it. So, okay, the next thing we have on the list here is, let me find it, I'm actually pretty excited about this one, it's going to be dope. Bears beats in Battlestar Galactica. Now, are you, you're, are you an Office fan, or is this a callback to a band that not many people know? Are you a fan of A Bullet for Pretty Boy? I've never heard of that band before. I'm not going to lie. I've uh, liked watching The Office. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. It's okay. Disappoint. It's okay. <laughs> so, what's your favorite episode of The Office? Oh, man. You're really putting me on the spot with these questions. Yeah, uh, fuck. I'd have to think about it for a sec. Just, I really like the one where um, they do uh, basketball between the warehouse and the uh, The Office people. Mm -hmm. and uh Ooh, is it yeah. kevin mm -hmm. kevin they don't want him on the or michael says he can't be on the team and then in the credits or whatever he's <laughs> just sinking shots such a good fun Did... fact go i was just gonna say fun fact about that episode i guess the actor um it was just like b-roll material where he just was like they weren't shooting at the time and he just kept on sinking them and so they decided to put it in the show because everybody was dressed up oh yeah dude. and it just made made the joke funny what town is the office in uh, Scranton. I is Scranton a real place? It is. It was is. That, was the show terrible, actually terrible filmed place. in Scranton? It was not. No, I I don't remember where it was filmed, but I'm like ninety five percent positive they might have done some location shots, but the majority of the show was not shot in Scranton. Um, I can't imagine anybody wanting to spend time in Scranton. To be honest with you. Yeah, it doesn't sound that interesting. I the only thing I knew about it was that it was from The Office. Uh, macaroni and cheese with uh. Bacon bits or um, broccoli? Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm an all-organic man. I just straight mac and cheese. I don't want any additives on it. Mac and cheese is just the shit by itself. That's, that's where I'm, I'm leaving my answer with. And I don't care who I offend with that one. Oh, but if I had to choose between those two, um, probably broccoli, I think. Yeah, dude, easy pick. Bacon's good, yeah. but you can only have so yeah. much of the bacon, you know? Yeah, plus I feel like it detracts from the uh, the mac and cheese, whereas the broccoli, it only gets better. But, like, straight mac and cheese is just, that's one of my favorite foods. Do you like Kendrick Lamar? I love Kendrick Lamar, yeah. You saw him in concert. I did. I did see him yeah, in concert. Yeah, I looked through your Instagram, dude. I looked through your Instagram. I thought about it. I was like, I'm going to fucking pepper him with questions. Where'd you get is that this, shirt? This, this one? Yeah. Uh, this is a Jim Beam shirt uh, that I actually got Do you know from. Him? No, I don't. <laughs> oh. No, so um, the hotel that I used to work for, they had promotional items uh, get sent to their bar and restaurant, and so the uh, the manager of the restaurant I was really good friends with, and she gave me a ton of shirts, and so they're really nice quality. And so, so you just I'm have just a whole bunch of shirts with like product placement. It's just Jim Beam. I have probably about three oh. to five different Jim Beam shirts. Jim Beam uh, or Captain Morgan? Or is those even the same drinks? Is that like one's tequila and one's whiskey? I think Jim Beam is bourbon, and I'm pretty sure Captain Morgan is rum. I could be mistaken. I don't even... Jim Beam's more manly, though, because he's not standing on a barrel. Yeah. Um, do you have any musical talents? I don't know. My brother and my entire family is like musically inclined, but I do not play instruments. I used to play guitar a little bit, but um, unfortunately, I didn't stick with it. What was your favorite song to play on guitar? 
what's the Tenacious D song where the it's the Pick um, a Fucking Destiny? Yeah, it's on that album, but it's Wonder the, uh, Wonder Boy. No, it's Wonder Boy. It's uh, it's like Mozart or uh, Bach or something like that. It's when um, <laughs> I don't know that one. Kyle Gable meets uh, Jack Black and the uh, on the beach for the movie. It's like the first song that he plays for him. I knew how to play that one. If I had my guitar around, I'd play it for you, but I'm not going to try to sing it because I'm terrible. Why, dude? That's what we're all here for. That'd be so <sighs> saucy if you did that. Um, I told you, I don't have any musical talents, man. What was a time when you weren't sure how to answer the question that somebody asked you when you were ordering at a fast food restaurant? Oh, man. I feel like every time I need a second to, you know, decide what I want. I feel like they should just know. Do you ever they should get... wait at least 30 seconds. It's just like, hey, <laughs> welcome to wherever. And uh, you can let us know when you're ready to order would be so much better than, oh, uh, could you give me a second? Do you get, <laughs> do you ever get up there and you, the whole time you're in line, you're like, I'm going to order what I always get. And then you get there and you get like antsy. And you're like, I don't know, dude. Do I switch it up? Like, quesadilla? Or, like, do I get, like... Dude, because I tried uh, the Chalupa for the first time in forever. Okay. So... Oh, damn it. <laughs> they delivered my pizza to my mom's house. Oh, Fuck. that's fucking brutal. That was going <laughs> to sort of be my surprise for you, is that I was going to just start eating my pizza. Oh, I thought you were getting, like, <laughs> pizza to my house or something like that, and then you accidentally ordered it to your mother's. Nah. I was like, that would have been a sick surprise. I would have been sort of confused on how you got my address, but I would have been welcome. Your address? Oh my god, that's so perfect. I should have done that. Oh, that would have been so Next sick. Next question. What's your address? Well, no, I, I would have <laughs> discorded that for you. Oh, man. Um, Did you get it sent to your house, though? Like, no, so you're not I... getting pizza tonight? Oh, well, I that's mean... That's what I like, you meant to get it to your house. Uh, why? We'll get to those questions in a minute. Um, okay. not the pizza question. Now I've confused myself. <laughs> um, what were we talking about when I got the bad news um, about my pizza? Fast I'm food. sorry, dude. Fast food. We oh, were yeah, talking the about question. fast food orders, and I I feel like with fast food, I'm typically I get the same thing at every restaurant that I go to because you know. I could list my go-to orders for every single place if you'd like me to. I think that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. Give okay. us the list, dude. For McDonald's right now, um, with their uh, value menus, I get two McDoubles and two McChickens and a medium fry. I don't necessarily eat them all at once, but I like to have them because, you know, it's like two for two and then two for three dollars. And then you just get a better deal. That's uh, for Taco Bell, I get a black bean, black bean um, Crunchwrap Supreme. With Baja Blast, you got to go with Baja Blast every single time. I don't know, dude. Taco Bell's Pepsi is pretty good. Really? Yeah. Is it like a different mix or something? I know that people talk about McDonald's Sprite. Is that what, uh, like... I don't know, actually. Every McDonald's Sprite I've ever had is watered down. But let's not focus yeah, on I, me. I want to know okay. your fucking orders here, dude. All right, all right. We're getting Arby's, to the saucy ones. Oh, Arby's. This Arby's. is a big one. You have to go with the roast beef and cheddar every single time and curly fries and a Jamocha shake, and then you get your drink. And if you say anything wrong, I might have to leave the podcast. Dude, um, have you had their number 11? I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you, because like I never sourced past the, uh, brisket? the first three. See, I, I don't know. I just You haven't Arby's... tried the smokehouse brisket sandwich? I will say Arby's has a decent like back when they had regular fries, they were actually really good, but nobody yeah, ordered them. Yeah, because they were just curly fries, just not curly. No, they weren't. They what, weren't just what? regular curly fries. Yeah, they were like actually good fries. Probably some of the best out of any fast food. Were I they think. red? No, no, they, they were, were just, just regular, regular white fries. fries. Like mm -hmm. you could put one of their fries in a Wendy's fry, and you wouldn't even know. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Which white? I mean, Castle you would know order? because. I've never been to White Castle. What? You've never been I mean, to White we Castle? We don't have White Castle around oh, here. Oh, what do you yeah, have? have? What is the thing that you have there that I don't have here? Yeah, uh, I'm. I don't know. Uh, we don't have a lot of restaurants. You got Five Guys? Yeah. Oh my God, Five Guys! If you get it, Cordobas. Never heard of that. Okay, Cordobas is like Chipotle, but I like it better. Cordobas. Be yeah. 
How do you spell that? Q D O B A, I believe. Q. There's a Q in yeah. that. Quadobas, yeah. Oh, Quadobas. I thought you said Cadobas. Cadobas, Quadobas. Yeah, that's like a cobra with one eye. <laughs> um. Sounds about right. Yeah. Counter Strike. What are we talking about? Counter Strike now. What's the highest rank you got, to, dude? Uh, legendary eagle master. Is that what it was? I don't know. I, don't, I forget that's what the, what a, the that's a rank right called. Legendary L -E -M, L -E -M. eagle master. That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure L E M. They just is ran out of shit to call master. it, then, didn't they? What do you want to call I... it? Legendary eagle master. Well, there was legendary eagle right below it. Why? And then you became a master of those people. What's so, above that though? Yeah. Uh, Trout? Supreme Master First Class, I think. Supreme Master First Class? I think, and then Global Elite, yeah. Is that like a real army rank? Fucking fine, now. You would think about the amount of time that I've spent playing first-person shooters, I'd know something about that, but unfortunately I don't. So you're 6'4", right? 6'3". 6'3". Six, three. Six, six, three. Three. Yeah. Might as well round up. Are you good at NBA 2K? I'm not. I'm terrible at sports games. I'm absolutely god awful at sports games, which I don't know. I <laughs> used to love playing sports. your favorite gun on Counter Strike? Sorry. No, it's no problem. Um, AK forty seven for sure. Yeah. Least favorite. What's the spray? So let's test your knowledge here. What's the spray pattern on the AK forty seven? Do it with your hand. You can't use See, your mouth. You can't use your mouth. You gotta tell. You gotta show us with your hand. What's the spray no, pattern? No, no. Like you're talking about, it's down to the left, then right, and then back to the middle a little bit, and then it like shakes. Dude, that right the, there it, like, shows your the IQ because right. you used the mouse. You were you're pretending to hold a mouse, right? Yeah. Yeah, course. that's crazy. I was just wanting you to go like this. This is what it does. But you was like, you did it backwards. You did how you control it. I would have never got yeah, that. that that's what I'm always confused about because people ask you about recoil patterns or spray patterns, but do you do what you do to counteract it or do you actually show what it does? I usually just you say know? the gun goes up and then to the left and then it evens out and goes back to the right. Oh, okay. Well, when you said use your hand, I figured you wanted to see what <laughs> I would do. No, that was awesome. Now you're like, Obi-Wan, I got no <laughs> Use the force. All right. Um... Semtex or regular grenade? In Call of Duty, Semtex all the way, for sure. Okay, how good were you with the op? I was okay. I think I was I think I was definitely above average. Right now, I am absolutely terrible with the op. I will say that. I wish all my skills didn't go away. But I'm I'm dog shit right now I call or counter strike. How would you rate me as an Apex partner? Uh 10 out of 10 easily. I wouldn't have uh, agreed to come on the uh, the podcast Dude. if I didn't think you were the best possible, you know, partner in the game. How many games? How it, how much time do you think we spent in game? It was that one at day? least four hours. It was at least four hours, and I don't think we got a single like we may have gotten a total of four kills. It was pretty it was bad. bad. It, it was, was so rough. fun though. It was fucking rough. Now, but that's the thing. It's like I I don't know. I'm. I used to be super, like, when I was in the Counter-Strike days, I wanted to get to the highest rank possible. But now, I like to be good, but I also want to play for fun. You know? It's hard to play like, for fun, though. Yeah, yeah. I feel like there is some ass. kind of enjoyment. Yeah, there is some enjoyment of, like, I don't know, being good at the game. Like, it's fun like that, too. Where'd you get but, the lights yeah. that you have on your... Uh, I think five and show. below. Yeah, At a store? Was, yeah. Five and below? Yeah, it's like a dollar store, basically. It's named after Antarctica? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get it? <laughs> Wasn't that the uh, the name of that one Cuba Gooden Jr. movie? What? Where he was like a dentist? Five oh, and below? That? Something like that, yeah. It was uh. Why would Cuba they name Gooden a Jr. dentist movie at Five and Below? No, he was a dentist, and he went to like Antarctica or something like that, and he had a race team of like five dogs. I think one of the dogs, spoiler alert, it died at the end. Oh, five and below? Something like that. So that yeah. means there were six of them, but one of them's below. Unless it's not, that's its name. Well, he was below all the dogs because, you know. Red or orange Gatorade? Yellow. But if I had to choose between those two. Yellow. 
yellow Gatorade saved my life. I'm not going to go into detail, but I had food poisoning one time. Oh, dude, and you got to tell me. How'd you I get mean, it? I'll just, I'll just get how I got food poisoning. Yeah. Uh, I was at this girl's house who had just had a party and she had broken her leg at the party. And so we went over to her house the next day to just like hang out with her and, you know, make sure she got like food and stuff like that. And I was going through her, um, her parents' cabinets and I ate some food that was probably really old. And I like was so, so violently ill. It was terrible. And I had a <laughs> Hubert's, is it Hubert's lemonade? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, no. Is that okay, like it was like a le- Kinda. It wasn't alcoholic, but yeah, it's basically like that. That's cool. Um, but it was like in the back of the refrigerator and I grabbed some of that too. And like, it was probably a mixture of the two, but I literally was like on my knees praying that it would be over. It was so bad. Ugh. Save that. My pizza's here. Okay. It'll be two seconds. We're cutting this. We'll be right back. Race dog. I'm sorry. No, no problem. I was just talking to your chat. The uh, wasn't Snow Dogs is what it was called. I don't Snow know where I got Dogs. Five I watched out. that. That was a good movie. I didn't mean to do that. That was supposed to be for comedic relief. Like I was going to get up and get my pizza, but it got ruined because it got sent to the wrong house. You know. No problem. Shit happens. I tried to have a big bang for your episode, and this is what I get. I look like a fucking fool. But well, you know what you doesn't can't... look like a fool? A legend eagle master, and that's what you used to be. You can't come back without showing your pizza. Oh yeah, you want to see what I got? Absolutely, I do. I want to know what your pizza order is. Well, first off, no one, no one out huts the the hut, or no one out That's pizzas just the hut. Correct. I got cheesy bread. Solid. Order one, right? Cheesy bread number two. Nice. Oh, shit, dude, I'm getting old, dude. It hurts to. I don't know if I could say dude anymore. <laughs> dude, I understand, man. Oh. Oh, dude, that's garlic sauce cups, dude. I got, or dude, oh, dude, dude, yeah. dude, dude, dude. Ranch sauce. Here's my thing. Here's my pickle that I got to pick with these guys, right? So, you order from Pizza Hut, but they don't have, like, any, like, jalapeno ranch. Or some, like, hot ranch, you know? Because I want mm-hmm. that that ranch taste but i want it like with some kick they don't got okay. it's okay though it's okay let's get back Can you in. just add some hot sauce with your ranch i could add some hot sauce you're a fucking genius um how's your water no problem silver baby it's good it's just regular water now you work out and stuff, right i do yes thank you for noticing i saw you took pictures <laughs> with your shirt off on instagram don't make me sound like i do it every single day i don't know there's a it's bunch all, of them on all- there Hey, those are just the ones that you gravitated towards. <laughs> Dude, I was going to like one of the random ones at the very back end of it. Like, not like any of your pictures, except for like a shirtless one from like two <laughs> years ago. And you'd be like, what's wrong with this guy? No, nah, I would have respected that. <laughs> okay, so understood. we're going to dive into the chat questions here. If anybody's got questions for the man Ephraim, uh, light him up in there. But first off, I'm going to start with my question. Dude, Did you, you went to college. No? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I graduated with my associate's degree um, back in 2020, and I am now a year, or I'm going to be graduating in 2022 spring with my bachelor's. From Virginia Tech? No, from uh, Penn College. Penn College. Penn State? Yeah, I'm going to be No, just Penn College of Technology. It's a graphic design, or I'm in the graphic design program. Dude, is it solid? Do you love it? Uh, Yeah. I I quit my job um, What'd you do before? this summer. What do you mean? Like, like as my job? You just quit, yeah. Uh, I worked as a front desk attendant at a hotel, and I did, like, nighttime management. Oh, I bet that um, was so fun. Basic, it was the worst. worst. It was so bad. I feel like that yeah. would be a fun job, for real. I don't, oh, man. There's a lot of stories that I could get into about oh, that. Are like, there any that are, like, almost not okay for stream, but, but still okay? Like, did you ever find, awesome. like... Baggies of weed and used condoms. Oh and yeah, stuff. yeah, of course, yeah, Ooh. yeah. No, that wasn't even that bad. No, really? that's not even. It's, it's guest interactions were awful. Like I don't know. What was the Especially, worst? Especially, I have it written down here. It's a pretty For long real? story. So, yeah, dude. If, if you yeah, want to, I didn't it. want to forget any of the details. <laughs> yes, I have please to go over it. I, I have to go over it. I don't know if this is going to come across good on stream, 
Hey, because... it's just us talking. Forget those fools right. in the chat. They don't know what they're talking All right. about. All right. And then we'll get to Let the questions. See. I gotta, this I gotta is just find too saucy of a story. Down. If you want to ask me questions while I'm finding the story, because it might take a second. Okay, okay. Why is Justin better than F at basketball? Uh, that's so incorrect, bro. That is that is not even true. Not even remotely true. Now, is that are you I saying saw, that's not I'm true because post, it is though. true? I mean, I can post the highlight in the uh, the chat. Do you want like, to expose like that? Huh? A Justin? year ago, a year ago, and probably a month, or a year ago and a month. We played basketball, and I smoked him four to zero in my driveway. So four to zero, never... yeah. Four points. Yeah, we you only played two the buckets? four. Cause... No, it was uh, every shot counted as a one. Oh, so you were playing half half skateball. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what's the coolest graphic design project he has done? That question's that coming I've in done? hot straight from tags. Um, I worked on a. Look, really, honestly, a lot of the freelance, actually, the coolest project that I've done is the, uh, um, what's it called one? The Shamrock Gaming emotes. I had a lot of fun doing those. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, Groot or Ryan or Rain, however you know him by, he reached out to me. He said, hey, I have an idea. I would like to uh, make some emotes because I saw, because I was doing emotes for my chat um, as well as like off constantly, which is his discord. Mm -hmm. Um. And so he really liked that, and he just said, "Hey, you should do some for uh, Shamrock Gaming too." So I don't know if you're able to show it on stream. I don't even know how you would Which do it. Which one? That. The like the or actual logo or, or the, uh, the emotes? I don't know how to check those. Yeah, the emotes. I don't know. But yeah, I... the emotes. That that's probably definitely my favorite, just because like it's not only something that you know the community is personal to me. Like I like hanging out with you guys um but also it's just like it's not a super like boring project where you're setting type and like just doing you know logo designs for i don't know some kind of would you make a logo design for a steakhouse yeah i think i have done that in like uh, class projects before what about a restaurant that's like hooters but instead of ladies it's dudes and they're in banana hammocks and it's called pythons I could probably make a logo for that, yeah. That'd be so awesome. Would it be would it be like uh alluding to uh, you know, their pythons and the logo? Yeah, it like ain't, it it ain't talking about their arms. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay. Who Okay, who I can't best find friend in the Discord. To... Who's my best friend in the Discord? Ooh, yeah. this is gonna be I can't. Tags I don't is out here trying friend. to start fights. Yeah, I can't do this right now on stream, <laughs> man. This is bad. Just wait until we play Among Us tonight, and you'll find out who I killed the least. Dude, that's another good thing. I've <laughs> never played Among Us. I don't even know what the fuck to expect. Among Us is actually a ton of fun if you have people of varying skills. Like, if there's new people in, I, I think it's the best played when there's 10 people, and you have people of varying skills. I don't think you have to be an expert in the game to enjoy it. Because it's all about murder mystery. So, like, if you have people that are new, they're not going to know sort of the ins and outs of it. So they may just look suspicious because they're, you know, stupid. new to the game. Yeah, not not necessarily stupid, but yeah, mm -hmm. you know. What's your thoughts on Whitney Houston? <laughs> may her soul rest in peace. Uh, that's about as far as I uh, I delve into it. Okay. Did you just get that from chat? Who the fuck asked that? No, that was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was, I was like, just, just from the depths of my mind. Uh, what's your favorite kind of toothpaste? Colgate, I guess. I, I knew know. you were gonna say Colgate. I could have guessed that. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, I pretty much that's like the only toothpaste. Oh, okay. okay. Did you know there's okay. things inside of toothpaste? What do you like, mean? Like, like lids. Inside lids? your tube of toothpaste, there's like a there's a lid inside the toothpaste. I don't know what you're talking about. No. You know, like the lid you screw on the toothpaste bottle. What do you mean by that? What? By a lid? The li yeah, like just the a cap lid, on top screw, of the toothpaste? Yeah, yeah. It's not in, inside in, the toothpaste. Yeah, they, there's like a collectible one inside of that, like a Yoda head that you can spin onto <laughs> the toothpaste and, and the toothpaste comes out the mouth. You're just trying to get me to open up an entire thing. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, dude. I swear. 
I swear. Try checking, dude. Go to your bathroom right now have, and squeeze the toothpaste. I don't have tooth or I don't have Colgate in my uh. He's my gonna be in right the now, bathroom actually. and like I don't want to squeeze it because that means I'm checking. <laughs> Did you ever I'm do Bloody Mary? What was that? Bloody Mary? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the bathroom. I'm, I'm not a believer in all that paranormal shit. I Re think it's you just. You don't people. think there's nothing there? Nah. Oh my gosh. I think it's just people want to like they get freaked out. Like they I've be been spooked? in bed before and it's dark and like I think <laughs> I see a figure, but it's just like clothes on my chair or something like that. Like what would you just do? See um, for Klondike bar. I was gonna say if you guzzle down sweets. <laughs> By what? Guzzle down sweets? Yeah, eating as much as an elephant eats. I don't know this reference. What do you I'm think sorry. would come of that? I don't like the looks of it. Oompa, I'm not familiar oompa. with this one. What? Oh, okay. Is it... Dude, oh All right, you know God. how long it's been since I've watched, is it Val Kilmer's, uh, what's it called? Don't um, tell me you're going to say Val Kilmer's and Willy Wonka. Is he not? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> I might be misremembering my actors. Uh, who is it? Oh yeah, who the fuck am I thinking of? Val is Kilmer. Is it uh, Val Kilmer's Batman, dude? Yeah. What, what am I thinking of then? <laughs> Batman was. <laughs> you gotta cut that out of the. You gotta cut the thing. No, I can. At the beginning, the guy. at the beginning of Willy Wonka, instead of him walking out all slow, right? <laughs> you know when he's walking out slow. You know what I'm talking about? And he falls <laughs> forward. Imagine if that was about instead. I, mean, I think I just made him out and better, Batman just fucking you. drops down on top of him. He's like, "Where is the chocolate? I'm vengeance." You want to hear a joke? Absolutely, I'd love to. And then you can tell me one. All right, put me on the spot again. Uh, there was this dog that could talk. Right? Okay. My friend had a dog that could talk, and I was like, "It can't talk," and um. Then he goes, ask it a question. So I did, you know, or he did, right? He asked it a question. He was like, "What? what's on top of a house? And the dog goes, roof, right? So I'm like, oh, that's funny, right? And I was like, ask it another one, right? And he was like, um, what's in your mouth? And the dog goes, goof, right? And you're like, oh, he's barking. That's funny, right? Ha ha. Let me ask it a question. So I ask it a question, right? And he goes, like, fuck it. Ask it whatever you want. And I go, what's the most popular uh, fishing destination in San Francisco? And the dog goes, Wharf! Fisherman's Wharf! <laughs> I can't watch... <laughs> I can't one? watch the stream. <laughs> All I heard was the audio for that because I can't see the uh, the stream and I can't like <sighs> with the delay. So that was an amazing impression. Yeah, I loved Thanks, it. Thanks, dude. Thanks. That was fantastic. <laughs> Round of applause in the yeah. chat, please. All right, now yours. I don't have a joke, but I can tell the uh, the worst story. I oh, can't you still find have it. it? I thought you said you couldn't find it. I couldn't find it, but I remember the majority of it. Dude, let me have it. I, I, there's certain details of that are, that are fuzzy, but essentially, um, hold on, hold on. Are, you, are you starting right now? Yeah. Okay, tags. Add a thing that says story time. <laughs> story time with F. Okay, now go. All right, so uh, I go in on a Sunday, which meant in the morning, which meant that I was the manager on duty. And um, essentially, that meant that there was no other management besides myself there um, for like the front desk and all the other areas of the hotel. Um, and so there was this woman that came down and she wanted to extend her room with us for another, another night. And so I said, OK, I'll do that for you. And I extended her room um, and then she walked back upstairs. And then my housekeeping manager, who was the only other manager technically on staff, came to the desk and said that the room that she just came out of was absolutely god awful. Um, it had like blunt wraps everywhere. It had uh, like shit in the toilets, shit oh, on the dude, bed like, and like actual shit on the bed. Like uh, there was blood too in places. And uh, she was like, it's like, I'm going to have a tough time trying to find a housekeeper to do that room. And I was like, Oh, well shit. Like they just extended with us. Um, I can't really, or like, I just gave her a new set of keys to get into the room. So she's not checking out today. So Wait, like, so that's absolute. she checked, or you, 
they just the person that put the shit in the room extended the room they were yeah they were supposed to check out that morning but they came to me to extend for the day and Shitters. check out the next day yes yeah it was just one girl yeah it was just, it was just one, girl. one girl that shit everywhere it was one girl um i can describe her she had yes. blonde dreads very light skin uh she was probably about five foot two maybe very short um Maybe even shorter than that, actually, like four foot. Well, we can't judge eight. her though, dude. Maybe she just had some uncontrollable no, Hershey squirts. Continue, oh, I'm, continue. I'm, I'm getting to some oh, parts, no. but um, it wasn't like you know she had shit on the walls or anything like that. It was just like there was like skid marks and stuff in the bed and like blood also on the sheets, which you know. But it was more like the smoking in the room with the blunt wraps and everything like that is a big no-no in our hotel. You weren't allowed we to do that. Don't mind if you shit on the walls i mean please don't smoke pretty much yeah (laughs) i mean like you know smoking gets everywhere you walk into a room someone's flinging shit on the walls you're like you smoking (laughs) no handful of shit sorry go ahead Uh, pretty much um and so basically she tried to extend with us and then she came back down and like i had to be like hey i'm sorry but we can't extend your room and she was basically like, okay, that's fine. I want my money back. And my housekeeping manager was like, you can't do that or we're not going to do that. And so then they get into like this verbal altercation where they start yelling at each other. She's like, I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> and like screaming at her. And I'm like, whoa, it's like 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. on a Sunday. Like, I'm still hungover. I don't know what's going on. Oh my um, God. And so she goes back up in the room and we call the cops to escort her off the property uh and then so they get into another verbal altercation and she starts yelling at me um but basically the cops came down to the front desk and said that she had just been released on probation um for stabbing her sister and so uh she decided to come down to our hotel because that's what i guess you do and uh yeah and then so she got escorted off the property uh never to be seen again um, and then I get a text later on that night from my relief that came in to do the night shift that she had got arrested at the hotel next door um, for punching a cop. So, yeah. Did she shift there, was, there too? She didn't. No, she was not allowed to stay there because she called um, over to my place and she was like, hey, this guest right here is trying to get a room. Said they just came over from your uh, place which is kind of a weird thing. Like, why would you get rejected from one hotel and then be able to go to the next one? I was like, just stay the fuck away from that girl. Like, so she's crazy. what I got right there is that hotels are kind of like mycelium. Like they're, they're like a network. They connect to each other in that way. Where they Local ones for sure. Yeah. So they'll be like, Hey, you see that guy? Is there like a list, like a blacklist? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we have a, yeah. Do not rent list for sure. For yeah. real? Yeah, absolutely. It's on multiple yeah. chains that you guys pass around. Uh, just the ones that are local, yeah. That's but, yeah, crazy. Yeah. I mean, hmm. we got to make sure that, like, you know, because it, it's more of a hassle for everybody but the front desk staff. So, like, the front desk staff, you know, doesn't have to deal with the shit that housekeeping has to deal with, or like the people that do the guest requests have to deal with. Um, if you were going fishing, would you use a rooster tail lure or worms? uh probably worms i don't know i've never been i don't know what a rooster tail is that like that's one of those like fake the, bait that's like it's plastic like the, mm, it's got like a little like furry end and then when you pull it it's got a spinner i don't know i've always used just regular worms but i haven't been fishing in a while so yeah me either i kind of lost my touch yeah i'd like to go fishing again soon <laughs> would you ever go to canada no never no like, not even canada. to visit that one's for swanky Swanky from Canada? Yeah. <laughs> Swanky Canada. Mm-hmm. Um uh so did you ever play Wait, what was your first foray into video gaming? Oh fuck. Um Tony Hawk Pro Skater one, I think. It was like on the Pizza Hut demo for the PlayStation yeah. One. I think that was my first one. Did you used to get yeah. magazines? Like you know those magazines no. that had like the DVD and or like the game demos in the back. My family wasn't, uh, you know, we didn't have that kind of money. Didn't you have to like subscribe to those magazines or no? No, we I got mean, it from no, Pizza you Hut. never actually bought those. You just went into like bookstores yeah. and like slipped open the back. Oh, okay. 
No, I never we did never did that. that. Yeah, you're incriminating yourself right now. Nah, wow. it was too far back. Um, <laughs> uh, well, oh, shit, I had a good question too, and I forgot. Among us, who's gonna win tonight? Oh, fine. Whatever team I'm on, for who sure. All's, who all is going? Just so everybody knows, know. after this, uh, at 10? What it 10.30. is it? 10.30. 10.30, yeah. We're having Among Us in the Shamrock Discord. It's going yes, to be wonderful yeah. and fun. If if you don't have the Shamrock Discord and you're in the chat, just uh, DM either me or A1 or someone, and I'm sure you can get the information if you would like to play. Did you roller skate? No, I, I mean I've roller skated before, but I've never, you know. Did you roller blade? I guess roller blading is what I did, yeah. But I was never huge into it. Did you ever have heelys? No, I never did. I didn't I tried either, dude. I I tried them once and I busted my ass and I realized my lesson and they were my friends, so it was like you know. Do I wasn't you remember them, right? people just fucking whizzing by you? On those <laughs> I things? do. The first I've year, always thought you saw it and you was like, like what the fuck. Does that mean that there's a role right now in like the NBA that you're not allowed to like equip your shoes with like I don't know Wheels? heelys? Yeah. Oh my god! Like you can't be, you you can't travel right if you're not taking a step. What would they do? I don't know. They'd be powerless to stop you. Except yeah. For at least for that one game. Yeah. That'd be yeah. hilarious. And then they come up with blockers and stuff like that. Just LeBron James comes out with fucking heelys. <laughs> uh did you say you did you didn't play sports? I didn't. No, I played like pickup sports with all my friends. Um, but nothing ever like professionally. Or I guess not professionally, but never I played baseball up until I was fourteen. And then Is I that quit. how your arms got so big? No, no. I just started lifting. <laughs> you lift weights? I do. What's your bench? Yeah. Oh fuck! I don't even know anymore. Just because I took like basically the entirety of 2020 and partial 2021 off, just so that way I could um. Yeah, but no one else did anything bench. either, so they de- they deteriorated. Probably my bench is actually dog shit. I could probably bench 170, maybe. 170. One 150 to 170, probably. Is that how yeah, many plates right. is that? Like when you're walking up to someone, you're like, "Can you, you spot me?" I have two places, 160 feed, you know, and then two fives. Understandable. Right? Or no, no, it'd be 180 right there. Yeah. Do you like. Because it's not each of your 45s. Did you ever watch Spawn? No, I haven't. I've, uh, I know what you're talking about, but I've never watched it before. That's, uh, the HBO, um. Mm, maybe. What do you think about that movie, Top Flight? Top Flight, or that's the whatever that's that the Yingling beer. Tim Cruise or... movie is that Mav likes. <laughs> Tim Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that movie, and Maverick's probably gonna be in the chat up in arms about that. Oh. But I've never seen that. I've never watched a Tom Cruise movie where I came out of the theater and I just didn't that wish I put That was my favorite Tom that. Cruise movie ever. Did you see when he jumped across the fucking building? Wow. That's literally every Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. You know what's better than a Tom Cruise movie? An Owen Wilson movie. You know what's better than an Owen Wilson movie? Uh, I don't know. A Nicolas Stop. Cage movie. Solid choice, yeah. I'm going to test your, your movie knowledge here, F. All right, let's do it. I also how, have a pitfall many... where I what? only watch parts of movies. I only watch parts of movies. Why? I don't know. What's I just the, don't what's watch What's the story behind movie. that? Why do you think you do that? Let's delve into your psyche. Why do you think you can't finish a movie? Uh, it's not that I can't finish a movie. It's that every time I get intrigued into a movie, I see like either, you know, if it's on TV, I end up catching the last half of it. Or if I see a clip on YouTube, I just watch all the clips that are on YouTube. Like, so you, I don't know. I just don't put on movies. It's too much of a commitment, man. Commitment? Yeah. It's an hour. It's could be two. You know, you never know. Yeah, Unless I mean, you, you do the- know. You 100% know. It says right on the back of the case. Yeah, but what am I digital. supposed to spend There's an no hour cases. on something? Am I supposed to spend an hour on something that I might or might not like, you know? Yeah. That's like no, life, nonsense. dude. It's like when you get a nonsense. girlfriend or a boyfriend, whichever way you swing, you're like, uh, do I just not try? Should I no, waste? No, that's completely Should different, I waste though. an hour? No, it's not a movie Absolutely in a relationship. Is. Same thing. Absolutely it is. 
You telling me you get the same fulfillment out of a movie as you do a relationship? No way. I'm not busting nuts. Uh, it depends on what kind of movie. <laughs> JK. I, mean, I guess so. Like if it's up, yeah, dude. I've never seen up. What? Yeah, dude, I've never seen up. You've yeah. never seen up? But I bet you I could answer trivia questions about it. I've never seen it in entire. How many balloons does it take to take the guy's house up? Oh, fuck if I know that one. Did, I don't either. Did they even answer that in that? I don't think so. I'd say at least three. <laughs> three? At least, yeah. Would you skydive? I don't think so. No, I'm terrified of jumping off of high things. But I think it'd be a little bit different because there's nothing underneath me. Like, I get a weird sensation whenever I'm, like, I don't know, on a cliffside or something like that. What's the craziest ranked game what's the craziest play you what's that you've pulled off in game doesn't matter what game it is that and i want you to walk me through it as it's a memory okay okay so not not the one that's not, come to mind. don't tell me you know tell me what game it is at the beginning but then i want you to describe it as if you are there and in it not oh you know then we respawn i want you to be like we're flying in Okay, like tell it like a movie, and we're gonna see what chat thinks of your story and how good this clip was. Okay, I'm remembering it very vividly. So, do you want me to describe all the like, everything, everything that's if, going if, on? If okay. Tags was in, it'd be like Tags was in the f the second story of the house that we were in. It was post plant, which means that the bomb had already been planted on the B side of Cash, which is a map in Counter Strike, which is the game that Ooh. I was playing. And so I had the op, um, and so on B side there's like a little railing that's um like basically you can just see the head uh -huh. um and then there's like an entrance at the front where you can see like one room and then there's an entrance on that side I i'm trying to describe it for someone who's never played it before but i, I sniped I one of the guys i sniped one of the guys coming into one of the rooms and then i turned to the place where there was the heady i shot him in the head and the op is a single shot kill, but you only get like one shot before you have to reload. So, you know, I had to make sure all those shots count. Um, I think Groot calmed me that one of the guys that was coming in was only one shot. So I pulled out my pistol. I gunned him down real quick, got the last guy. And then there was one more guy I had to deal with, pulled out the op, smacked him. Easy class. Black. Yeah, I don't have the clip anymore because it was on Plays TV and they shut down their site, but it was a nice one. Tag that's said only... that's 100% fake news. No, 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 that's... Ty was even there. He was like, I... F, what the fuck? You really you really shared out. That was probably your legendary Eagle Master days. No, nah, that was That's like going to be the name MG of this, this episode. Legendary Eagle Master? Days, yeah. <laughs> legendary Eagle Master days. Just reminiscing. Yeah. Dude, you ready for New Halo? You gonna play it? I am. I'm psyched about New Halo. I'm yeah, so I haven't ready. heard. I haven't exposed myself to any of the news yet, um, just because I wanted to just be completely fresh when I pick it up. Actually, but you know I, what we need I've to heard... talk about? Go ahead, continue, continue. I'm sorry, I suck. I, I was just gonna say, I know off. that multiplayer is free, and that's, that's that I'm huge. psyched about that because that's I huge. like to play cross platform with my friends, and if it's free, that means that they'll actually play it. So, what about um, here, dude. Splitgate. Splitgate's a so lot of fun. fun. So it's fun. Nice. So fun. Dude, I played that two years ago when it first came out. And no one played it. It was a, it was just a desert, des like, deserted area. Right? It must have been, like, streamers that, I paid like, started? No, it was 20 bucks. No, I meant, like, recently, like, or is it because it just became free? I think it became free. I don't know what it was, but I just saw people playing it, and... People play it a lot now, but it's like, it's the same way it was back then too. But it's so good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. We I'm, need to I'm have... getting friends to play it too, which like everybody's hesitant to pick up a new game. I feel like nowadays, but especially like, when it, you see it and it's like Halo, but people are like, mm, yeah. I don't want to come in and get ripped. I don't know. I Halo has always been one of my favorite style of multiplayer, like the so sort of arcadey shooters. I think there are some definitely things that I'd patch about the, uh, you know, the game. Yeah. Like, I think the shotgun's too powerful, but that's, you know, we don't have to discuss that. Yeah, I mean, it's not as bad as, like, Halo's shotgun. Split gates? Or would you yeah. say it's the same? I'd no, say I don't really powerful. know, because I haven't seen it. Well, also, that played Halo with a shotgun, but I think it's more powerful. That's pretty strong. Did you ever play Mass Effect? 
I didn't, no. Oh no, my god, dude. Good. Please but play Mass play. Effect. Do you yeah. have a console? I have a PS4. Okay. That's the only thing I have anymore. PS4, if you ever get the chance, get the Legendary Edition, or whatever the one that just came out of Mass Effect, it's got all three. Get it. See, I have a, I have a hard time getting into... Like, I have a hard time thing. finishing movies and good games. What do you finish, F? Um, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't There's something going on here. It's something deep yeah. in your psyche. There's a reason yeah. you can't just do it. I just it. have to pick up a new project, yeah, and just, you know. Have you ever but finished no, I, a book? I have... Yeah, absolutely. So you can books are different though. What to just sit there? Books are yeah. I don't know why, but books I I don't read um like fiction books. I all the books that I read are nonfiction. Fiction books for people that don't know are real. No, it's the other way around. They're not fuck. Nonfiction is not fake. Yeah. Damn it. Yes. And cut that out. (laughs) So, what was your favorite book? Did you read it? I didn't know that that I wanted to, but that book, yeah, is absolutely too much of a tassel or a hassle for me to try to start. Mm-hmm. That book's fucking massive. Holy it's shit! Huge. Did you ever play Gears of War? I did. I played Gears of War too. What about Gears Five? No, I haven't played that. Really? Mm-mm. No, I only played Gears of War too because it. I got it for free, and uh, I really like the Horde mode in that game. Word what about you? What about the, the fighting games that you're into? I've been interested games? in that. Yeah, I've been interested in asking you some questions. Dude, it started with uh, Smash 64. I used to go over to my cousin's house and beat the shit out of him. And I, oh, I yeah? always thought I was so good, right? I thought I was so good. And then Nintendo, uh, Smash came out for um, Ultimate. Smash Ultimate came out for Nintendo uh, Switch. So I picked it up again, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be so good. Like, you know, I'm Smash God. And then I went to a Smash tournament and got humiliated. Yeah. Oh, it was bad. I, was I showed up with a Walmart on. controller that had Yoshi on it. I thought I was cool. And then I got there, and I realized that everybody's hardcore into it. Like, they got when legit controllers. Um, I don't know. It was like two years ago, maybe. Okay. Whenever Ultimate came out, I don't remember. And then I got in the Mortal Kombat. I sucked at 2D fighting games, like whatever they're, you know, like the ones that are like Mortal Kombat. I'm never mm-hmm. really good at those. And then my buddy got me to watch him play Dragon Ball Fighters. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, that's a little bit too confusing for me. It's so simple. Is it? Do you like fighting games? Uh yeah yeah I haven't played them in a while because with the PC I feel like mouse and keyboard is not made for fighting. Yeah, you just games. gotta use a controller. Yeah, but, but I don't you got have a PS4, a, I don't wanna... you can just plug a controller in. No, the USB thing I have to charge it from the bottom because the top USB port is all jacked up. Uh, you don't have to do. You can just have a cord plugged in. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying, Dragon Ball Fighters is so good. Oh, it's so good. Watching it, it's like watching anime. The art in that game's so good, and then. Uh, Guilty Gear Strive came out, and it is mwah, a chef's kiss. It's so good. The net play, perfect. It's got rollback net code. Mm. Oh, it's like I don't everything. know what that is. What is rollback net code? Rollback net code is when you, uh, like normally, fuck you. <laughs> if you go to a, like a normal game, it would like chop and hitch. You know what I'm saying? If it lagged, it would just like, like it would stop the game, and then you okay. jump back in. So, but I think I'm saying this right. But rollback is where the frames, instead of dropping frames, it will just take what button it last got, and then it will just jump back and correct itself. Okay. So like, if if you throw out a button and you start lagging on my screen, I'll see. It won't stop for me, but then it'll just jump back to, like, the last frame that it actually picked up. So I might kill you, but it'll jump back. If it was perfectly timed enough, it'll jump back, and the game will still be going. Interesting. So but, it's, like, so that way to stop, like, latency issues and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, there's no latency. Everything's one-to-one push-ins, but you just... In in a good world, you don't even notice it. It's so good. Like, I could play someone in the UK, and it's not that bad. Like, it's really good. 
That's basically yeah. all there is to say about fighting games, except for I took my controller up to fight in one, and it didn't fucking work. I did DM you some time with uh, my girlfriend's. I don't know if there's a Switch. Do you play uh, Smash Bros. on the Switch? Yeah. Why? Does she want this smoke? No. I mean, she has it, and she's actually really good at it. Oh, yeah? Who's she main? Yoshi. What? Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's just who she mains. Dude, she's going to catch these fists. Dude, <laughs> I am the best Captain Falcon there is. I don't know. You just said you got your ass handed to you at a tournament. That was in Guilty so. Gear Strive. I still oh, get my okay. ass handed to me in Smash, but look, gas me up, Dude, Smash motherfuckers are a different breed, bro. They take that shit oh, so, so fucking nuts. seriously. So, F, I got a question. Is there anything you wanted to touch on while you, while you have this podium to stand on while the whole chat is looking at you? I just really wanted to plug again the uh, the Shamrock Gaming uh, event tonight, the community game night. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think, yeah, I'm just I'm really psyched to you know get my face out there, meet some of the faces that are within the uh, the community that maybe you know we only see within the chats rather than actually talking. Right, I'm, I'm psyched. It'll be fun. I think uh, Among uh, Us is a lot of fun. Yeah, for sure. I think if I think I can win tonight. Oh, for sure. Because I'm definitely I, you just gonna play, hunt you um, down. You you typically play. Oh, you're just gonna fucking kill me, you asshole. Yeah. After all we've been through. Like what? I don't know. We've just been chatting. What do you mean, for, like when we're in Apex and I Apex? go down and you just yeah. run away? That's just simply inaccurate. You're right. I would slay the other team and try to pick you up. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude, you would shoot at him. <laughs> I'd do my best. I'm just kidding. I don't mean to be mean. Do you, do you, do, have you ever had Belican beer? Have you ever been out no, of the country? That? I haven't. Them. I don't what's have my the fur- Where Where have you been? Florida your, is probably the furthest place. What's your favorite place in the world? If you could pick a place to visit, where would you go? Um, with that are within my means right now. No, just in general. Okay. Where would you want to go? What patch I've of dirt you want to go be to, standing on? I've always wanted to visit Ireland. Ireland. Yeah. And Costa Rica. Costa Rica be tight. Mm-hmm. Those are my two places that I really want to go. Understandable. Understandable. If you uh, were born a girl, what was your parents going to name you? Fuck, I don't even know. I have to call my parents see what they, uh, they have to say about that. Yeah, I was going to be called Randy with an I. That tells you how really? I would have turned out. Yeah, I was going to say you'd definitely be a stripper, unfortunately. Me? I'd be a stripper right really? now. Oh, shit. What is that? That's a dog. That's my dog, Lexi. Lexi? Is she pissed? Yeah. Uh, whenever someone knocks on a door, like a car drives down the street, she starts barking. Um, would you ever play Hunt Showdown? Yeah. Yeah, I'd play that. Have you? Do you have it? Uh, No, I don't. It's so good. I'll wait for it to go on sale. Next time it goes on sale, let's play it. Okay. Deal? Good. Deal? Yeah, for sure. And that's what we're for going to sure. talk about on the second episode when you come on again. How do you oh, feel? Shit. How how was it tonight? Did you it have fun? Good. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I the questions were really fucking sporadic. We found out <laughs> a lot about you. You like mac and cheese with uh, broccoli. I love mac and cheese. I don't. No, I'd rather. You wanted have the broccoli. Playing. I remember you said you wanted the broccoli. Bacon's too much. That's what you said. Yeah, for sure. I got to make sure that, you know, I keep my figure tight. Your finger? My figure. Oh. <laughs> I you said your finger. All right, dude. Well, I appreciate you coming on. That was super fun. Yeah. This will probably be on YouTube at some point. Tags is Fantastic. going to put so much crazy editing on this. Aren't you, Tags? <laughs> You're going to love it. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so cool. There's going to be explosions. explosions. Like, yeah, yeah. Please, I'm going to try it. I'm ready for it. I and want to he, see this. He's not going to do it. Aw, oh, damn. All right, Ty, hey. Give me a high five. Wait, I don't forget. Which way am I going? I think Thanks, this dude. way because I think it's reverse. All right. Oh, yeah. You are, you... Got it. All right. We're yeah, going to play yeah. Among Us tonight. <laughs> what are you Tempting doing? You're just still... Oh, yeah, it's delayed. Yeah. 
Ten thirty. Has it been delayed Shamrock this entire time? Night. Yeah, it's delayed for like what we see, but I don't think it's delayed like us audio wise. Okay. Or hey, maybe it is. We never know. But this has been fun, Shamrock. Uh, yeah, thank gaming. you. Yeah, so much for having Family, me. thank you for showing up. F is a beautiful man. He's six seven. He takes pictures. Um, he has. Oh wait, is Lexi the the black dog? Mordecai is the black dog. Mordecai. Lexi's the white dog. Uh, Mordecai sounds cool. Is he mad? No, nah, no, nah, he's chill. All right. Well, that's it for today, folks. We appreciate you showing up. Um, we'll be back probably next Saturday. I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe it'll be F again. Who knows? Maybe it'll be Tags again. Who knows? Hey, um, one last thing for a cliffhanger. Okay. What's your favorite cliff bar? Uh, the white chip, chocolate chip macadamia nut, or whatever that one is. That's a good pick. Yeah, it's All amazing. Right. Brother, I love you. All right, love you too, man. Thank All you right. again for having me. We're out of here, folks. Peace.